In case you didn't know, it's World Maths Day and students across the globe have found a pretty interesting way to celebrate. Millions are in the middle of a world record attempt for the largest online maths competition. About 314,000 Australians are actually taking part as well. And Tim Powell from Mathletics has been at an Apple store in Sydney watching some of the action. Hello Tim, now tell us what's going on there this morning. Oh look, there's uh, thousands of kids have been coming through the Apple store. They, uh, they, they've opened the doors and they're just so excited to be a part of something that uh, allows them to compete against students all over the world. And some of the students I understand have actually been logging on at home and schools as well. It's not just uh, at that store, obviously. It's, it's everywhere. It's in uh, 3,000 schools as well around the country. And, uh, and yeah, you can, you, can, you can feel the atmosphere. It's just such a great chance to showcase that maths is, can be as exciting as sport. Tim, what's the goal exactly and, and how, how close are we getting to it? Okay, well, um, we're already up to, the, the mathometer is already up to around 150 million questions and um, we'd, we'd like to answer half a billion questions by the end of World Maths Day and, uh, and we'd like to see around 2 million students uh, participate and, uh, and it's looking, looking very likely for both of those two things. What kind of um, questions are kids being asked? Keep in mind I'm a journalist, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, it's, uh, they're basic arithmetic questions and it's, a, it's about their speed and accuracy. So it's really honing those, those core mental math skills, one of those key, the key foundational skills. And, uh, and it gets a little bit harder the longer they play, just quietly helping them improve as well as get excited about maths. Excellent. Such a good idea. Tim Power, I hope they, um, hope they reach that goal. Thanks for your time this morning. Pleasure. Thanks, Wendy.